Dear Pi GUI, Python is a great programming language, but there doesn't seem to be any good free graphical user interface libraries out there. They all look like they were designed in the 90s. Do you think you could help me out? Sincerely, 100 Visions Guy. Okay, everybody, so um, I would like to do a tutorial series on Dear Pi GUI. I'm just now getting to learn it. It's a pretty cool library. I really like it because it looks way more modern. Let me show you what I'm thinking here. Um, if you look at this example here, you can see the different kinds of buttons, the styling. It's just got a much more modern look and it's pretty easy to configure. And the code itself is pretty simple. I mean, um, a lot of the code examples, you can just kind of take a look and see how easy it is. We're gonna basically create a project. And what I'm thinking of doing is doing a currency converter app. And so I'm gonna use the free currency rates API. And I'm gonna make an app that allows you to pick between two different currencies and do an exchange rate. Now, I'm gonna do this using the Deer Pi GUI library. I'm gonna to try to model somewhat of the model view controller. And we're gonna, prod we're gonna basically uh, manage our project using this wonderful tool called Poetry. Poetry is a great way to package your Python projects. It'll even create the folder structure for you. And then we're gonna house this on GitHub. Now for this uh, tutorial, you really do need to know how to install Poetry. You can just go to the Poetry. Now, you might be confused. A lot of people will Google Poetry. Now there's so much Poetry online. You really wanna put Python Poetry and go to, or just go straight to python-poetry.org. And the installation is in the introduction. And then the basic usage right here is how you can run the poetry commands. Uh, this is not about a poetry tutorial. And so if you wanna follow along, do what I do, and then just see how it works, okay? And then, but if you have any trouble installing or whatever, that's not what this video is about, okay? In this first video, what I would like to do is just get the project set up, get it on GitHub, um, and maybe experiment a little bit with the Deer Pi GUI. Maybe even if we have time, do a little bit of a mock-up. And if not, we'll just move that to the next. And then eventually we'll work towards figuring out how we can connect with this API and grab data and display it on the app and actually make a currency converter app. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is find a folder where I'm gonna put my new project. Um, so I have right here, I'm just gonna go into coding projects and I'm gonna put it right in here. Now, I'm gonna use uh, PowerShell. You can use any um, command line tool. Uh, you can even use Git Bash. Um, I'm also gonna use VS Code. So if you don't have VS Code, you do wanna check that out. Uh, I guess I went to Command Prompt. This will work. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get into here, um, and I'm gonna go to Documents and uh, Coding Projects, yeah. All right, so that's where I want to create this, okay? First thing you want to do is make sure Poetry is installed. I'm going to find out if it gives me a Poetry version. Yeah, so Poetry is installed, so this is really cool. You have to think of a name for your project. So I'm going to type Poetry Currency Dash Converter. I'm going to, oh, oh, okay, that's the name of the project. I'm sorry, <laughs> you have to say Poetry New. So new command means create a new project folder with the project title. So poetry new currency converter, hit enter, and it creates a package. Now, I'm gonna type dir so you can see the different directories and right there is currency converter. Okay, um, so that creates the project. I think I'm gonna do the rest in VS Code, Visual Studio Code. All right, so for that, I've pinned it here. I'm gonna open up VS Code. All right, and from VS Code, I wanna click Open Folder, find the project that I was working on. So that was in Documents, Coding Projects, Currency Converter, select the folder. Okay, so most of the commands I'm gonna run right inside of VS Code. I wanna get the terminal open, and there's the terminal. I'm gonna drag this over, make a little bit more visible. Okay, so uh, this the Poetry New created all these files. Uh, in order to do this project, there's a couple more steps we need to do. Number one, we need to um, use Poetry to install the Deer Pi GUI library. So I'm gonna type Poetry, add, 
to add means we want to bring in a Python library, and now I'm going to write dear pi GUI. Poetry space add space dear pi GUI. Hit enter. Creates the virtual environment, and it tries to install the package. Okay, again, this is not a tutorial on poetry, but if poetry is installed correctly, you shouldn't have any trouble with this. Let it do its thing, and then now it's done. And you'll notice there's a new file called poetry lock, and poetry, uh, this pi project toml is a file that just tells us all the different um, libraries we're using to do this project, and there is dear pi GUI now. Okay, so. Uh, and then you know you added it because there's now this new file called poetry lock. Let's go ahead and get all of these projects under git version control. We'll uh, basically create a GitHub repository uh, and then we'll connect this folder with the GitHub repository. So here I am, 100 visions guy. I'm gonna create a new, click the plus sign, repository and we'll just call it currency converter. And I've already been working on this, so I'm just going to put this video. I'm just going to add that and go ahead and create it. Uh, I don't choose any of the other options, and so that I get this little window here, it has my commands. I'm just going to copy that. That's going to create this readme.md file. You'll notice there already is a readme.rst file. So you literally could change this file and work through it. I don't use the RST, I do use the other readme. So it's up to you how you want to do it, but I'm just going to go ahead and put my GitHub, um, my Git commands right there. So let me just remind you what I did. Um, I went into the GitHub repo, I copied these by clicking the copy icon. I go in here, I'm going to right click and I am going to paste. And it's going to run the GitHub commands in the terminal. And it waits on the last command I have to hit enter. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. So you want to look to see that it did this. I will tell you if you downloaded VS Code for the first time and you just started using Git, you might need to configure your username and email. Um, and uh, hopefully that works for you. Now, um, we can just use the Git commands right in here. So we have all these new files that we created. And uh, the only one that's not green is the readme. And that's because when we ran those commands, it sent the readme. It committed it and it pushed it. When I hit refresh, I should just see, there it is, the readme. Okay, the next step I wanna do is stage and commit the rest of the files. You can run your git commands right in the terminal. You can click on here. And um, it, it, either way, I'm just gonna this time click here click the plus sign on changes, then they'll all be listed as staged, and I'll just put in here, adding initial project files. And I'm gonna click the check, and I'm gonna sync the changes, click okay. And that's gonna send my changes up. Okay, so I'm all caught up. Let's take a look at GitHub and take a look at my repository. There it is, you can see all my files. All right, so that's it. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go, let's add a test file to see if uh, the Dear Pi GUI is working right. And we're gonna just put it into the currency converter folder right here. So I'm just gonna click a new file and, <coughs> excuse me. We're gonna get that file from Dear Pi GUI and it's in the first steps first run. So we can just literally call it first run. We want to get this code. So I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to put it into the project folder. All your Python files should go in here. And then you can test your code in the test folder. All right, so I'm going to click on currency converter. I'm going to click plus sign and it's uh, first run dot pi. I'm going to paste my code. And the first thing I want to show you is that um, in this line right here, this is yellow and underlined. It's because we're trying to import a library that uh, is, it does exist through poetry, but we can't find it. So what we need to do is create a shell, which is a virtual environment, and that's one of the things that poetry does. It's the main task. I'm gonna write poetry shell. I'm gonna hit enter. 
And this is going to create that virtual environment. I'm going to scroll up just a little bit because I want to show you. Uh, it says spawning shell within. So this is our virtual environment path. VS Code needs to know where that is. Also, we should probably save our changes. So I'm going to do Control S to save the changes. Notice the little white dot is gone. This is still yellow and underlined. So we need to tell Python where this is. Now, if you haven't worked with VS Code in Python before, for the next two steps, uh, you're going to make need to make sure that Python is installed in here. So I'm just going to type Python, and I'm going to search for it. It's this top one. So right here, you want to make sure you install that because without this installed, you won't be able to do the next step. I'm on terminal. Here's the next step. I click uh, view and I'm going to go to the command palette. So I click command palette. You want this command, which is Python select interpreter. If you haven't used it, you won't see it. So you just type out Python SEL and you're looking for Python select interpreter. Click it. Now, we're looking for this path here that has currency converter, and, it, and right here it says L-I-R-G. And so I'm looking for the one that says currency converter, and it has that right there. That, this is the one. As you can tell, I've done a lot of poetry. Now, let's go back to first run, and notice it's no longer underlined. Now I can just click on here, and we can run it. We can test it out. All right, so at this point, we now have successfully installed um, DeerPy GUI, and we got some widgets that we can use. All right, so at this point, we've proven our that we can get this window open. So what we're going to do is, I think, let's go ahead and commit these changes. I might even just change this one to, to call it uh, sample whatever. I don't know. Well, we can just leave it in here for now. Um, you're not going to need this in the project, so. Uh, but this is a good uh, file that sh kind of shows you what you want to do. All right, so what I want to do now is uh, get my files in here that I'm going to do. So we're going to do what's called a model view control framework, or at least a pattern, they call it. Okay, for that, we're going to use this article to just sort of explain what's going on. MVC architecture pattern, model view controller. And let's take a look at it. So basically, if we're going to do a currency converter, we have to deal with our uh, data. And we want to be able to display it on the screen, but we want to have functions that will, you know, basically control it. So if you look here, model just represents the back end, contains all the data logic. Now, we're going to be calling APIs. So technically, we don't need the model. The model will actually be this API. If you want to, we can create a model file, and it will deal with making the connection and doing anything related to it. So I think we'll go ahead and uh, model model by creating model.py. View is going to be the front end, the graphical user interface that we're going to see. That's the dear Pi GUI code. And controller will be all the functions that will control what happens when we click various widgets and items. Here's a great view to sort of show what we're going to do. All right, now I am going to call the view app, OK? And so, but then model and controller will just be literally called model and controller. Okay, so in currency converter, same folder, you want to click a new folder and type app.py, hit enter. That's going to be the dear pie GUI. This is going to be the view. And then we're going to create another file and we're going to call it model.py. And so that's going to connect to the API and prep data. And then the final one will be controller.py. And of course, this will be all the functions and controlling logic Okay, for the app. So those are the three files that we're going to create. I'm going to go ahead and save those. And then let's just add adding first run. Actually, you know what? We could probably rename it. We're just going to rename it to sample.py. All right, and then that one, we're going to go ahead and stage it. And you do want to stage the one that got removed, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now I'm going to put uh, renaming first run to sample. Now I want to add the rest of the files. 
and we'll put adding MVC files. Check, push, or sync all of our changes. Get them all up on the GitHub repo. Let's go over here and let's check out our repo. Hit refresh. We should see several, we got five commits at this point and we are ready to begin our work on it. Stay tuned for my next tutorial when we actually create our view for our app. Stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.